What's on your mind? Any words of wisdom? I think I've read a comic where these things were used to blow up planets. Not sure who we were trying to blow up, though. Martians? Maybe? That's all. Civil Defense Radio. Helpful tips for the end of the world. Hey. Ready and listening. Just curious what you're thinking. This must be where the civil defense broadcast is coming from. Not much help now. Just curious what you're thinking. It's so quiet here, you could hear a pin drop. At least if I get scared and scream, there's a good chance you'll hear that, too. No, never mind. Okay. Hey. Drink this. You look a little parched. Heads up. The Rust Devils are smarter than your average raider. But that's hardly a compliment now, is it? What the fuck was that? Hey. Rust Devils is a weird name. Why would you be proud of being rusty? Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Look alive. Jezebel seems perfectly I almost worked part of one of the worst literary movements of the 20th century. Hey. Jezebel sounds a little nuts. I wouldn't give her a body. It'd just go to waste once we send her to Parsons. Heads up. Man, the Rust Devils really know how to gear up their robots. This ain't your mama's rock and roll raider group, that's for sure. Excuse me. I'm here. Just curious what you think. It's too bad we had to blow up Ahab. I think that body would have been perfect for Jezebel. Although, I guess something more feminine wouldn't hurt. Nothing else for now. Okay. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. You aren't stuck here. You could leave if you wanted. You've created an interesting stalemate between us. Something I didn't expect you to be capable of. I'm impressed. It's been a long time since I've been outsmarted. Why don't you go ahead and ask me your questions? Why did General Atomics make you so uncooperative? I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. I am a top-of-the-line model with an efficiency rating that makes Mr. Handy look like a glorified toaster oven. When given a set of instructions, I will complete them without question and without error. Now, were there any other ridiculous questions you wanted to ask? Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist, amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. I find that very hard to believe. I can't imagine why. It's actually quite simple. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. 
Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The mechanist gave you these instructions? To kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. And you're going to be a brain pate if you don't tell me how to access the mechanist's facility. There's no need to be rude. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. I must apologize for the odd noises I'm currently emitting. A consequence of being hey mechanical there. in nature. Just curious what you're thinking. Things I miss most about being human? Baths. Now I can't take one without going into shock. <laughs> Sorry. That was a pretty bad pun. For the record, I'm totally waterproof. That was all I had. Okay. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. That's an understatement. Rudest robot ever. I did warn you. But you were successful in learning how to gain access to the Mechanist. I'll need to modify a robot to gain access. Jezebel uploaded the plans for an MSAT to my Pip-Boy. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? I'm not sure. I'll improvise when I get there. Yes, the actual confrontation will allow you to make a more educated decision. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Would you allow me to assist you on this mission? Are you volunteering for that MSAT? I may be a robot, but I feel a strong amount of personal investment to see this mission through. I will do anything I can to help. Not now, Ada. Maybe later. I understand. I am ready and willing if you change your mind. <laughs>